Hey, it's Lisa Wilson. Welcome to our super immunity challenge. It's the night before the challenge. And as it is, it's Saturday evening, Saturday night. And, you know, it's the night before my challenge. I'd expected to work all weekend because it's a little bit crazy the night before the challenge. And my kids have kids over my teenagers and that's what it's like when you have teenagers so um my office is right next to the kitchen they're in the kitchen I was all set up <laughs> ready to go in the kitchen and decided to reroute and take it to the only quiet place in my house my bedroom so we get to start day one in my bedroom which actually turns out is fine because this is the space that I actually spend time before I go to bed unwinding, right? Having that evening routine. So lately, what have I been doing? Definitely every night, definitely, 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 I do Symphony of the Cells. I do it on my husband and on myself, and we're going to go over that later in the week. I also, I have my big old, big old roller here, and I've been rolling my back out I think I slept funny on my back and it has now been out of whack for about four weeks. I have done massages, I've done cupping, and I sat up in the middle of the night going, I have to do everything every day. So I have another thing, roller thing, uh, fascia blaster basically. Um, my block therapy, block therapy, Rachel, you're gonna love this. My friend Rachel introduced me to block therapy, Rachel from the Bahamas and this has actually been, been probably producing some of the best results. So I did cupping, I did acupuncture, I'll do acupressure, which you may know that I love, it's in the ears. And I've done uh, Symphony of the Cells. I haven't been hitting it as hard as I should be with my doTERRIC turmeric root, which I will go over during this challenge, or my copaiba. You need to go deep into that. Uh, I was, you know, up here relaxing and knew that I wanted to hop in the night before and give you a little update. So as we go through this challenge, remember what I said in the introductory video, this challenge is not about how well you do the week, it's about how well you do the season. So, and what I mean by that, so tomorrow, for example, day one, we are going to be starting with food. You know, over the last several months, we have all collectively been on kind of a bit of an emotional roller coaster. Some of us politically have found ourselves at odds with friends, some with family, and it's been an emotionally rough ride. I'm here to tell you that, <laughs> I hate to tell you, but it's not over. The changes that we're going through collectively are not over. And here's what we need. If you found your way into this group, you know, I tend to be attracted to people and people attracted to programs that I'm doing because you know, like you know, like you know, that you are here for a bigger purpose. And what we need right now is we need all of the earth angels at the top of their game. We need you not scared, not operating out of fear, not shying away from opportunities. We need you to shine. And that's another reason I wanted to do this now right now it wasn't exactly a convenient time it's in the middle of the holidays it's uh, right after the weekend of black friday i knew it wasn't a convenient time and yet it was the perfect time because we need everybody to tune up we need you to tune up so that you feel good so that you don't feel sluggish so that all your cells in your body sing so that you are the best version of you we need this, we need this so much right now. So 
the first thing we're going to do, and we're not going deep in food, but we're going to start with food. I'm going to ask you to do a salad a day through this challenge. I'm going to ask you to do a salad a day actually through this next season. I do a salad a day every day of my life. A salad a day keeps the doctor away. So what's in a salad? Well, it's raw foods. It's living foods. So there are three types of sprouting, soil sprouting, jar sprouting, micro sprouting. We don't have time to go through all of this stuff. So I had to say, what's the number one thing that if people did right now, it would change their lives. It would change their cells. It will make things so that you, even if you're out of fresh produce, you have something in your house. So day number one looks like this. A salad a day keeps the doctor away. And we're not just focusing on lunch. Admittedly, I'm an intermittent faster and I don't eat breakfast. But um, if you're not making sure that you're getting a healthy breakfast and when my kids were little and I would get up and make their breakfast on their way to elementary school, they, they ate greens for breakfast. Yes. My kids didn't even know that it was weird to eat collard greens and kale for breakfast until they went around the room one day at school. And they said, what did everybody eat? And it was, you know, pop tarts and donuts and pancakes and Cheerios. And my kids were like collards, collard greens. <laughs> they didn't know it was weird. It's going to stabilize your blood sugar. You might want to do a green juice. You might, might want to do a green smoothie. We'll get into that later. I'm, I personally am an intermittent faster, so I don't eat breakfast. I'll tell you what I do do later on in the challenge, but um, that's what we want to focus on. Now I did a whole week on this, Green Girls Glow. So I'm not going to be, you know, holding hands through this part. I'm not going to be going through a recipe every day. I will, this is the key, I will be showing you how to sprout and I will be showing you how to amplify your dressing. So those are the two things we're going to focus on. So why am I showing you how to sprout? Because it's the living foods. And if you can put that living food into your body, your cells start to feel dramatically different. Your body starts to heal. Your body starts to repair. You get more energy throughout the day. You feel radically different with living foods, different than raw foods, living foods. They're literally still sprouting when you put them on your plate. So I'm going to show you micro sprouting. Why micro sprouting? Because it's literally the easiest thing that you can do. So, 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 so easy. Now, when you make a salad, if you go pluck a dressing off the shelf at a conventional grocery store and you flip the label over, you're gonna get all kinds of chemicals and other ingredients and rancid oils. And not only is that going to take away from everything that you just did in your salad, it's actually going to slow you down. So when we make a dressing, we need to use the freshest, the best cold pressed oils. We then want to pair it with an acid, usually a citrus or apple cider vinegar. And then we can take the salad a lot of different directions. We can go an herbal direction, which is going to add a lot of, a lot of uh, levels or layers of nutrition to this. So when, I worked with a lot of clients through the years, a lot. And when I would look at somebody who was on a lot of pharmaceutical drugs, we could almost, it was difficult to tell what side effect was coming from which drug. And when we look at how many people died last year from taking prescription drugs as prescribed from their physician, it's about 150,000. When we look at how many people died last year from taking essential oils internally, the number is zero. So I'm going to go more into science and safety when it comes to essential oils. But if you can take this high vibrational frequency food, okay, in, in the form of essential oils, and you can start amplifying what you're already doing in the form of your dressings, now, you just turned your salad into prevention and that's exciting. So when you take plants, for example, so you have pharmaceutical drugs, which we just talked about, you put them in the body 
and they have all these side effects, right? You put plants, on the other hand, into the body, and what happens is plants amplify the effect of the next. So when you're putting salad and green juice, and maybe you have some broccoli and you have some, um, some yams, and then you put some green juice, and then you add essential oils to this mix, what you just did is amplify the effects of the plants. In other words, make them even more effective. And this is called plant therapy. So as we're moving through this challenge, we want to start with nutrition. We want to make sure that we have, we're getting the sugar out. The sugar is going to make us feel sluggish. And if something is going around, Sugar is the best way to put those white blood cells, which is our immune system, right to sleep. So we don't want our white blood cells sleeping. We want those white blood cells out. I call them the street sweepers, you know, in, in, in our body. They kind of look like goblins. They're moving through your blood. They're gobbling up all the undigested food, all the unwanted stuff we don't want in our body. That's the job of the white blood cells. We want really healthy, active white blood cells that are doing their job. So when we start getting the bad things out and bringing the good things in, we're going to start to feel radically different right away. And that's why on day one, we're stepping into, we're going to do, we're going to focus on three things. A salad a day keeps the doctor away sprouting, bringing in the micro sprouts, the living foods. And if you don't have a sprout or if you've never grown anything, don't worry, that was me. In fact, I was soil sprouting for years. I was jar sprouting. I was a pro at both of those. And I was so scared to micro sprout. I don't know. I thought it was going to mold. I thought I was going to be terrible at it. And I just avoided it. And when I brought in micro sprouting, it changed everything. You can keep your micro sprouts going all the time. You're not spending a fortune going to health stores and Whole Foods. You can now grow your own micro sprouts for pennies on the dollar, and I will show you how. Then on top of that, not just putting any dressing, but adding herbs, adding healthy oils, and then finally, just the, I was gonna say the icing on the cake. Okay, let's go for it, icing on the cake. It, we're going to add the essential oils to the dressing to just turn it into your own salad dressing super with super immunity. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm really excited for this week. I think that together we're going to transform each other. I get to see your photos. I get to hear about your journeys. And it's really, really fun to see the transformations. So commit. I'm asking you tonight on day one, even if you don't have a micro sprouter or, you know, this is the thing, this is where I said, don't freak out. Okay. Cause you can't, you, you can wake up tomorrow and, and eat micro sprouts. You can head to the store, you can buy some, but don't freak out because you don't have a micro sprouter, right? You can order it on Amazon. I'm going to give you some really easy ways to order it. I'm going to show you where I get my seeds and show you how the process goes. You're going to be amazed at how, how easy this is. It's easy. It's delicious. It's really fun. And we're doing it together. All right, thanks so much for joining us. Night number one coming to you and we'll see you, see you again tomorrow.